Hello, I'm Mike with Wellforge Miniature Painting, and today I'm going to be answering the age-old question, or at least give you some better insight into it. Is it better to dry brush minis with an old synthetic paintbrush, or to use a makeup brush? So let me start by asking you a question. Do you see the difference between these two statues? Both are made out of the same plastic, both use the same paints, and both are equally dry brushed. The statue on the left was dry brushed using a synthetic paintbrush, and the one on the right was dry brushed using a makeup brush. So let me ask you again. Do you now see the difference between these two statues? Because I don't. So to answer my original question, is it better to dry brush minis with an old synthetic paintbrush or use a makeup brush? It really comes down to personal preference. However, in my experience, there are a few instances where I prefer one over the other. So let's do a test. Here I'm using an old synthetic paintbrush from a cheap pack of department store paintbrushes. The makeup brush that I'm using is from Wet n Wild, which you can get from any drugstore. Both are roughly the same size and have the same amount of use to them. I'm going to test these two dry brushes on some example bases. Both bases are 32mm bases with some Army Painter Battlefield Snow and a couple of rocks glued down to them. Both of them are primed with Vallejo Black Primer. Now I'm going to dry brush a bit of white on each base to test the coverage. As you can see, both brushes perform alright. The makeup brush needed a few more passes to fully cover the base. I'm guessing it's because makeup brushes weren't made to handle acrylic. The makeup dry brush base also has a softer finish to it. I did notice that some of the basing flaked off with a synthetic brush, so I tried the dry brush a little bit more softly. Still, even with a lighter touch, the synthetic brush tends to scratch off some of the basing. In the end, however, both brushes produce roughly the same result, but which one would I choose? In most situations, I would choose the makeup brush over the synthetic brush, especially on metal miniatures. The whole idea for this video came after I painted this miniature, Brother Lazarus from Reaper Miniatures. I used a regular synthetic dry brush on this metal mini and immediately noticed that it flaked off some of the paint I had underneath. Primer and paint already tends to have a difficult time, at least for me, sticking the metal miniatures, and I would rather use a dry brush that wouldn't risk picking off some of the layers of paint underneath it. So again, the next time you're at the drugstore or at the department store, be sure to pick up a pack of makeup brushes for your miniature painting. Hopefully this video has brought you some insight on which dry brush would work best for you. What dry brush do you use? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and be sure to check out my social media listed here on the screen. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider checking out the Amazon links down below to get yourself some sweet mini painting equipment that I use. I get a small kickback when you purchase using these links with no extra cost to you. Also be sure to check out my sponsor Reaper Miniatures. A link to the miniatures that I use in this video are down below. A huge thank you goes out to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. AM, Andy, Hugh, Lenore, Mark, Samantha, and William. Your support is what keeps me going. And as always, take care and happy painting.